I also see a benefit to just, even if you don't have a garden and can't be physically doing things yourselves, I'm gonna give a little situation where I started watching David Attenborough's The Green Planet. And so in that, I was, despite knowing a little bit about what I'm talking about, I was gobsmacked by the persistence of nature, the power of nature, the amazing things that are happening around the globe in growing and how um, plants are learning to adapt. And I, just watching it, not having any planting around me, felt a lift, felt a confidence that there is something else outside of power of me, outside of power of humans, um, that is also trying to help solve this. And I think that, you know, even if you don't have your garden, even if you're a member of our community, because you like hearing us talk about gardening and learning about gardening theoretically, I think that just opening your eyes and, and educating yourself on really what is out there and not just listening to the doom and gloom, I would say, you know, bow down to David Attenborough again this time in a plant sense for illuminating that for me. And I think that that can probably happen with a lot of you too. So there's a plug, check out the green planet and you might be inspired to see that something else is happening. <laughs>